Hey, 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 everyone. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. Hope you are doing well. Uh, let's talk about a new bit of technology that uh, Spotify is seeking a patent for currently, from what I understand, and uh, they're going to be implementing it on the platform. And I think the creatives in my audience really need to pay attention to this because, I don't know, it could spell out uh, what the future of your own music on the platform will be from here. Uh, the headline, OK Player, and lots of other outlets have covered this as well. Spotify developing technology to scan songs for copyright infringement. As the article starts, Spotify is reportedly in the market to protect songwriters with a new feature. On Tuesday, Music Business Worldwide reported the platform has filed a patent for plagiarism risk detection and interface, which would detect plagiarism on its platform. As we go deeper into the article, of course, there is a bit of discussion about the use and scanning of samples on the platform, which I think kind of makes sense and is to be expected. Before I go too much deeper into this, I do want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor in this video, the good people over at uh, 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 The Ridge. They make these awesome, nifty, fantastic, rugged, metal-plated wallets that fit nicely in your front pocket. Been rocking mine for a while now. And get 10% off yours by hitting the link down below, promo code MELON. And yeah, that's it. So anyway, I think it sort of makes sense uh, that Spotify would be implementing some kind of technology to scan for samples, detect samples, because it's pretty well established in the industry these days. If you want to sample a song and you want to make money off of it, especially if it's a lot of money and it's a big track, it's a hit track, you got to pay. You got to pay. You know, I, I talk with artists big and small about this and... They're all paying for this shit. It kind of is what it is. It's the legal precedent of the industry at this point. It's not weird and it's not all that alien since platforms like YouTube already have such a thing in place where it's seeking out uh, essentially samples of audio, copyrighted audio, if it's in your video or somewhere else and it either gets taken down or there's like a monetization split, so on and so forth. So again, understandable, not that strange, but apparently whatever technology Spotify is getting a pat for and is developing, um, it's going to be scanning also for compositional similarities between whatever it is you're putting on the platform and everything else on the platform too. It's going to be looking for melodic similarities. It's going to be looking for rhythmic similarities, which to me sounds just insane because how many fucking trap songs are essentially like functioning off of the same 808 hi-hat and snare patterns. What is specifically being plagiarized other than, I guess, this communal agreement that uh, these sounds and these patterns and these melodies are really interesting and popular and catchy and compelling right now in this moment? Personally, I'm not really worried about the development of this technology and concept. I mean, there is uh, something about the inner nerd or outer nerd in me. <laughs> that, uh, you know, thinks about uh, uh, an algorithm or a program that uh, finds all these melodic or rhythmic similarities with millions uh, of songs potentially and sort of lines them up or kind of draws comparisons. That's interesting to me. You know, that, that seems like it would be kind of a cool thing to sift through. You know, if the music community had access to such a thing, I think some really interesting things could be discovered. But uh, this technology, I worry, is going to be used for uh, an evil and a greedy end. That's what I fear. That's what I worry about. Not the technology, but the way it's going to be used and applied. I haven't really come across a successful creative yet who has not admitted to me, uh, if we, you know, sort of uh, breached the discussion, that uh, the creative process and the writing process involves at least a little bit of, you know, borrowing inspiration, uh, taking from another place in order to, you know, kind of turn an idea, an established idea or a concept or something into another thing. I sympathize with the labels and Spotify and their uh, motivations here as far as samples go, you know, I suppose. But uh, uh, beyond that, like trying to decide uh, for people and, and trying to essentially like, you know, narc <laughs> in a way on uh, 
uh, smaller and, and more independent types. Because look, I'll eat crow if this ends up uh, uh, not being true, but I have a sneaking suspicion that uh, the, the focus and worry about plagiarism is going to cut mostly toward the direction of the major labels and more established artists and not so much in the other direction. Like if an independent artist finds that, uh, I don't know, um, maybe the melody of a song that they wrote in 2010 is eerily similar to that of like the new Megan Trainer single. Like, will they be able to uh, use that technology on Spotify to call out that plagiarism or will they be able to take on Megan Trainer and the major labels? Will the technology notify them and say, hey, we found out that Megan Trainer ripped you off? Uh, I have a, again, a sneaking suspicion that that's not how it's going to work. I don't think Spotify and this technology is going to be, you know, sort of a, a looking out for the little guy here necessarily, because when has Spotify ever looked out for the little guy? So, uh, yeah, once again, I don't hate the technology. I just hate the way that most likely it's going to be applied. And I'm not looking forward to seeing uh, what hell will be brought as a result of this kind of seems like the internet is becoming less of a fun, free, and random place as a result of a crap like this. But uh, those are my thoughts. Make sure to leave yours in the comments. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel, Anthony Fantano, Spotify, uh, forever.